as I alluded to a moment ago, there is the other major story unfolding uh, at the other end of Pennsylvania Avenue. And we are now uh, further along the way here, I guess you could say, the 13th round of balloting, uh, of voting in the House. And it would appear uh, that Kevin McCarthy, Rick, uh, dare I say, is within striking distance potentially here. Yeah, David, he's as close as he's ever been within three votes of getting the magic number to clinch the speakership. He has flipped a total of 15 votes since the rounds of voting, those endless rounds that concluded uh, last night. Uh, now the House is voting to, 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 to take a pause, to, to adjourn until late tonight, 10 p.m. tonight is their proposal. At that time, they're expecting that two more McCarthy voters, House Republicans who are out of town on personal business, will be back. If they are back in voting, then McCarthy picks up some support. He would still be, though, at least two votes short of getting the speakership, barring some kind of other agreement to get some members to vote present or to skip the vote. He still has some work to do, David. We are headed to at least a 14th ballot uh, to, to determine the House Speaker in a situation this country has not seen in, in a century and a half. In a century and a half, for sure. And, and not to get buried in the numbers, but everyone sees that six up there uh, on the board, essentially. Uh, and the numbers, the math is slightly different depending on the scenario, depending on if someone says present uh, or if they're not in the room when the next uh, round of voting takes place. But it would look like at this point, Rick, uh, that with six hardliners uh, against Kevin McCarthy at this point, he would need to convince uh, two more to come his way. A minimum of two, and those are the hardest of hardliners. They are the people that have said publicly there is no scenario where they will ever support Kevin McCarthy for speaker. We'll see if the pressure brought by their colleagues or anything else that can be dangled their way in the ensuing hours changes their minds. But they have been dug in from the start. They have made the start of this Congress very, very difficult for the would-be speaker. Yeah, you say the start of Congress hasn't really started uh, officially yet because they're all still waiting to be sworn in four days into this. Rick Klein, our political director, thank you, Rick, as always, for giving us the bottom line here. Our coverage continues at ABC News Live, abcnews.com. And, of course, I'll be back with the entire team for the Friday edition of World News Tonight. Until then, have a good day. This has been a special report from ABC News. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.